What's up guys, my name is Devin, also known as FBE, and welcome back to another episode of Footballers. In today's video, we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Nike Vapor Edge 360 VC football cleats. Let's go. Alright guys, so here are the cleats. Again, these are the Nike Vapor Edge 360 VC football cleats. These are the remake of the super popular Nike Vapor Carbon Elite 2014. They have finally brought them back. This is one of the most exciting cleat releases I can remember in a long time, so let's get into the box. First thing. It's your typical Nike orange box here. Let's read the tag. Nike Vapor Edge 360 VC, black, white, volt. Um, let's do it, let's get into it. All right. Oh yeah, yep. Let me give you guys a nice close look and I'll get the other out. Yeah, they're back, baby. Baby. So first things first, a beautiful silhouette, just like in 2014. It looks pretty much the same. We are going to have a couple differences. The first one is going to be that traction plate. This is their new edge traction plate that they've been rolling out on their newer Nike Vapor cleats. Also, something else I'm noticing right away is that the tongue is actually uh, separated. So it's its own individual piece on the old Vapor Carbons. It was one piece all the way through. Um, let me get the paper out so I can get a good feel of the weight of the cleat. They seem pretty lightweight. You've got some nice fly wire here, so that's gonna run to the base of the foot, and that's gonna help give you a nice tight fit when you lace them up. Um, yeah, there it is, fly wire. Pretty much the same design as the older model. Um, the Nike logo, the Nike script right here is definitely a lot smaller. Um, but right now, they only have this one colorway. This is a black and volt colorway. I really, really hope they come out with more. If they don't, um, they're doing themselves a disservice because these cleats are already flying off the shelves. So this is going to be the same insole as the uh, Nike Vapor Edges. You guys have seen it before. It's got Nike Grip technology. I'm not 100% sure what that means. I think it just means um, that the insole is built to kind of grip your foot so you don't slide around inside the cleat. And then, I don't know if you guys have ever really seen this, but inside you have this shank, all right? So this shank is going to give you that spring. It kind of replaces the carbon fiber that they used to use, but it gives you a little bit of spring in each step, which is really cool. The tongue on this seems pretty similar to the older model. Like I said, it is not connected like it was in the OG 2014 model. All right, guys, so just a quick reminder, these are the Nike Vapor Carbon Elite from 2014. These are the OG football cleat, one of the greatest cleats of all time, and that's what these cleats are based off right here. Obviously, right away, you guys can see the similarities. Um, they look pretty freaking similar. You got the fly wire, you got the same design. Um, due to this uh, new edge plate, the Nike logo has been shrunk um, because it, it can't really go all the way like it did on the older model. I'll give you guys a nice look at that. Then the other major difference on these is going to be the tongue. As you guys can see on the OG model, it is one piece all the way through. Um, there's, it's not disconnected at all. It's just one piece on the upper. And then this one is disconnected. So it's individ independent. Um, it moves around. It's free of the rest of the cleat. Um, so that's a difference right there. Also, if you guys look closely, you guys can see it looks like the material of the liner is a little bit different. Um, this one seems to be like a little bit finer and this one has a little bit more um, holes, pores, whatever you guys want to call it. I'm just going to do it that much. You guys can see there's none of that um, shank, but the springy of this cleat, the springiness of this cleat comes from this carbon fiber uh, traction plate. So this traction plate is a lot different from their new edge traction plate. This is a one piece carbon fiber. Um, you've got circle studs, you've got kind of smaller edge studs. And then on this one, you've got sharp triangle studs. It's two pieces and the actual springiness of this one comes from the shank on the inside that I showed you guys earlier. The next thing I want to take a look at is the toe box. So a common problem with these cleats, everybody loved them, but the toe box was a little bit skinny, a little bit pointy. So I am kind of curious to see if they've changed that at all. And it looks like they might have created a little bit more room in the toe box. It looks a little bit a little bit less crowded. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. It just it's, it's a little more rounded tip, so your toes will fit in there a little bit better. All right, guys, so there you have it. There's my first impression, first look at the Nike Vapor Edge 360 VC. Again, I'm super pumped to try these cleats out and test them for you guys. So uh, check out the review coming up right now. We're gonna kick things off with the comfort, and honestly, these are not very comfortable. These are a pretty raw, bare bones football cleat and don't have a ton of padding to them. Throughout the cleat, you are gonna get some thin padding on the side of your foot and then a little bit more in the rear, but honestly, not that much overall. Something that this model has that the OGs don't is this nice, thick tongue. It is separated from the rest of the cleat, um, but it is soft, it is thick, so it does feel nice on the top of your foot. For the insole, these have a super thin piece of foam, so you really do feel each step. It doesn't really absorb much contact, so that's what kind of gives you that raw, to the turf feeling. When testing these, the first thing I notice is that they are incredibly stiff, and then the heel cup is actually pretty hard as well and kind of digs into the back of your ankle, which kind of sucks. 
Overall, like I said, these are a raw feeling football cleat, which is pretty much the spirit of this cleat. It's what the OGs were like. It lets you feel the turf and you really do feel everything you do. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the fit and support of the cleat. And just like the OGs, these are super fit and they feel super snug all around your foot. The upper on these is made from a very nice synthetic leather that kind of molds to your foot as you use them. And they have Nike's Flywire. In case you guys don't know, Flywire is going to be these volt cables that you guys see the laces going through, and these cables actually run to the base of the foot, so when you tighten up your laces, it hugs your foot really tightly. The upper on these is very sturdy. Your foot's not going to slide around too much on the inside, but you aren't going to get any ankle support because there's no true ankle to this cleat. It's a low-cut cleat. Next thing we're going to do is weigh the football cleat. So these cleats weigh in at 10.2 ounces, making them one of the lightest cleats we've tested this season. Just for reference, I think the Nike 360 Elites were 9.7 ounces, and then the 360 Speeds were 9.9 .9 ounces. So they're still gonna be a little bit heavier than the other Vapor Edge models, um, but still pretty light. Next thing we're gonna talk about is the traction, and we've talked about this traction plate a bunch. This is Nike's Edge traction plate, and it's one of the best traction plates on the market. The bottom of these cleats is snappy, just like the carbon fiber model, um, but the difference is this doesn't have any carbon fiber whatsoever. There's a plastic shank that I showed you guys in the unboxing that runs through right underneath the insole, and that gives you that spring when you're running. Now, the actual traction plate is two pieces. You've got a back and a front. The back one has four studs, and then the front has more studs, but it's got these nice edge studs on the outermost parts of your foot. So when you go to cut, it is the first thing hitting the dirt so you can get in and out of cuts quickly. So I know a lot of you guys wanted the Vapor Carbon Plate back, but the Edge Plate honestly is an excellent replacement. It's springy with great traction, just like the Vapor Carbon Plate. Next thing we're gonna talk about is style, and I don't even think I really have to go into too much detail about this one. Nike has brought back one of the greatest football cleat silhouettes of all time, so obviously it looks incredible. There's no doubt in my mind that when you line this cleat up against every other cleat that's out there right now, this is one of the best looking, if not the best looking cleat on the market. They have this cool design on the side. They've got the V for Vapor Carbon. They have an iridescent Nike swoosh and then the Nike in the back and then all of these nice volt hits. At the moment, as I film this video, these are the only colorway available, but if Nike decides to put these on Nike by you or even just drop some more team colorways, there's gonna be no cleat out there that looks better and it's, that's guaranteed in my mind. Also, if you guys are bored and you guys wanna see some of the Nike School PE models, go check my Instagram at football.equipment. I've posted a bunch of them. Oregon got a cool one, Ohio State. Uh, Texas, a bunch of those Nike schools got some really cool PEs. Go check them out. Next thing we're gonna talk about is the best position these cleats are built for, and these are a skill cleat through and through. They're low cut, lightweight, with excellent traction for agility, so these are gonna be best for QBs, running backs, wide receivers, and defensive backs. Next thing we're gonna talk about is the price of these cleats, and these cleats retailed for 120. Honestly, I think Nike probably could have asked for more because of the history of this silhouette. So many people wanted them, I think they could have asked for so much more, uh, but 120 is a great price. That's pretty much the average price for a pair of skill cleats. Um, so overall, good price. Overall, I love these cleats, and I love that Nike finally listened to us and brought back a classic silhouette. These are an excellent skill football cleat, one of the best on the market for sure. They look amazing, they're lightweight, they're low cut, they have one of the best traction plates in football, and just this iconic look is timeless. There you guys have it. There's my full unboxing review on the Nike Vapor Edge 360 VC. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Um, I love these cleats, super hyped that they came back. But if you guys did enjoy this video, let us know by liking this video, commenting, and subscribing for more videos just like this one. My name is Devin, also known as FBE, and thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of Footballers.